Remember we talked about the factorizing uh, using the grouping in term in two terms method. Today we're going to be talking about the factorization uh, through the difference of two squares. So okay, let's try and analyze that. So here you are having a squared minus b squared. So this is a squared minus b squared. So when they say difference of two squares, we're having two squares, we're having one and two terms, and you're having a square here and a square here, therefore that makes them squares. So if we're going to factorize this, it will be something like a plus b, a minus b. Okay, it might sound confusing as to exactly why are we saying that. So here, actually, a squared is made up of a times a. So let's analyze and say a squared is made up of a multiplied by a. This b squared over here is made up of b multiplied by b. But then in this case, we're not going to say a multiplied by a. Reason being, we have got a minus b squared. We are not having only a. It's not only a monomial. Therefore, to express this in this, in this term, this binomial, we have to, to have two brackets. The significance of these brackets is to be able to include this b here and this b here. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a need for a bracket to really represent that a times a is a squared. So in this case, b squared can be expressed in form of b times b. Therefore, remember that when you are having brackets, it means you are multiplying. So when you are multiplying, you are having brackets. So a multiplied by a is a squared actually, and then b multiplied by b is b squared actually. You see, so this becomes easier when you are doing the difference of two squares. So, so let's try and understand using an example. So you've got x squared here minus 9. So this is actually a difference of two squares, but then many people wouldn't notice because the, the 9 doesn't have a square. I mean, the 9 is raised to the power 1 compared to the x squared, which is raised to the power of 2. Therefore, what makes me say that 9 is a square is because 9 is made up of 3 squared or 3 multiplied by 3. You see, so that makes up 9. So that makes 9 a square. So you just have to represent it in form of a square. So therefore, you rewrite this equation. x squared minus 3 squared, not minus 9. You're now representing them in form of squares. Remember that it's represented in form of square here, square here. All the terms are raised to the power of 2. Here, you just have to make that to make sure that all the terms are raised to the power of 2. So in this case, what do you do? You have to write this x squared. So x squared is a product of x times x. So x squared is made up of x multiplied by x. So here, you're just going to represent x here, and then close brackets, and then x here. You won't have to write x times x because now there's a minus 3 which is affecting you from writing just x times x, you see. So here, you have to say x times x. You are just splitting this x squared into its components. And then 3 squared, it means you have got two, two of your 3s here. So you must have 1 and 2. So you have two 3s. Therefore, it becomes a 3 squared. So here you have to put a positive and a negative. Reason being, why do you put a positive and a negative? It is because you are trying to obtain this negative sign in the middle. If you're going to put a positive here, this would have become also positive. But then this is a difference of two squares. It's not really a sum of two squares. Therefore, you have to put a plus and a minus whenever you have a minus here. Whenever you have a minus, you have to put in the plus and the minus. It is because when you multiply a positive number and a negative number, you actually get uh, you actually get a negative number. So to be able to obtain this negative 3, you have to do that. So here you can see that this can be foiled. This is the multiplication of two binomials. So if you are going to uh, multiply these binomials, you are going to say x multiplied by x. We are trying to reverse this. x multiplied by minus 3. And then 3 multiplied by x. And then 3 multiplied by 3. So this is the FOIL method. Okay, let's actually see if this goes back to x squared minus 9. So, in this case, x multiplied by x is x squared. We are talking about this green line going all the way up to here. So, this is x multiplied by x, which is x squared. So, that is why we split it. So, this is actually a reverse of what you did. So, x multiplied by minus 3. This is not 3. This is 
negative 3. So x multiplied by minus 3 is minus 3x. So mind the sign or mind the value. Okay. And then 3 multiplied by x is positive 3x. Right. And then 3 multiplied by negative 3 is negative 9. Guys, is it actually the same as this? No, 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 no. Is it the same? It might not look the same now, but then it actually is the same. But then how do we, how, how do I, how, how, what makes me say that this is actually the same? So you can see that here, sorry. So you can see that here we have got two. So we have got what? We have got two like terms. So these two like terms here, you have got minus 3x, you have got plus 3x. So these are like terms. What makes me say that is because they have contained the same features. They contain x as a variable. They, all of them contain x and x as a variable. So it means that they are like terms. Therefore, we can merge them together. We can subtract. We can, we, we can even add them together. It's, it is because they are like terms, meaning they are the same. So you just have to calculate. Here you write down x squared. So you look at this whole like term theory thingy. Remember, I'm including the negative sign. So positive 3, negative 3x three plus 3x here. You can see here you've got a negative 3. So that negative 3, you look at the coefficients. You've got negative 3, you've got positive 3. This is actually minus 3 plus 3. Or this is actually 3 minus 3. This is equal to 0. So it means that the x is cancelled. There's no longer any value of x. It's because you, you have subtracted everything from the from the x side therefore you remain with minus sign you can actually see that these things are the same when we're doing the reverse of them so this is factorizing by the difference of two squares thank you for watching